yeah man up in a them town they up on them screen tongue in a them so me hear the voice you know it's none other than brando if you hear the voice top shelf review top shelf update and from you click on the program you know the slogan you know say we are dealing with the realest way and we are going to teach you something today because it's all about education information and what uh, entertainment though no. but here you here we go now we see a topic I go around zine as it relates to idonia and <laughs> squash and Rigin king now i come for add some clarity to that issue yeah. before i go any further big up idonia big up Rigin king and of course big up squash all them are general name music all of them have made major contributions to the music in terms of bringing new styles bringing new deliveries bringing them artistry to the game and thus for giving us hit songs and we can't go around that no time zine saying that i'm gonna put things into perspective now before we go any further make sure you say like the video make sure you say share the video more 500 like panel one yeah. as always say big up idonia big up squash and big up ragging king watch the flow you know now the whole other discussion has started me feel when idonia go for an er idonia basically i say he was the originator or uh, one of the originators for the trap sound you see me to which squash replied you get the man say with this post a lot of persons assume for say squash and ragging build the trap no boy not giving no chat at ragging king tell him for respect it so squash proudly they say i him build the trap zine and of course i do not before as i'm showing you before i remember i do not team i can get the man say swaddy check point squash the for me the killer i read because this have to be a joke yeah say youth when which year 2006 if i know them time there you know right you see me so basically he must say i don't have started this trap dance hall and it was way advanced at the time don't have first forward in a dance hall with the biggie flow and the acid lyrics and never you are ragging king killer killer member good i don't have started trap dance hall big up squash and ragging king same way now people for me we have seen where i don't have used rap in a dance hall but we have also seen vibes cartel use it so if we are going to use the use of rap for say who start trap dance hall it go to cartel and i am sure other artists use rap type of flavor already now this are the thing where a lot of people are get twisted and not organized properly and that is why i'm saying forward to add something to the reasoning in our music you have a thing named genre you have a thing named sub genre now the genre is the type of music so you have hip-hop you have dancehall you have reggae you have ska you have um the only know the forms of music you have pop you have reggaeton now reggaeton um, which, which way we started from we could start it from hip-hop now hip-hop is the son one could say to dance all because dance all originated in the new york region by a brand named cool Herc. them call him father of hip-hop zine he was a jamaican that migrated to the u.s and he bring the toasting thing yeah same thing we start dance all from you right them days you know you right them start the toasting thing where rhythm and play musical player dance and them attack over the sound system on it that is what started dance all and that is what started hip-hop now hip-hop have sub-genres like the drill that started in the southern regions of the U U u.s not drill much that's like the trap music so people like the gucci man people like the ti those persons are the persons who them recognize as pioneering the trap sound now that trap sound has transcended the u.s and has gone to other regions because in the latin regions i'm about thinking in latin trap artists like bad bunny the panda and other um latin artists that used to do reggaeton so if you check bad bunny and them people them do reggaeton and them do latin trap it is possible for you to do more than one genre or sub genre music and that's what the world reach right now if you really check it so back to the origins of this thing when you use and say biggie flow biggie flow had nothing to do with trap biggie them forward from east america right in so new york or this or so where for them type of um 
hip hop completely different than what the southern them come with. First thing, if you have to about shop, you have to talk about the eight or eight drums. The heavy bass sound, boom, the sound there. That is defined as a trap. The trap is also defined as singing about the trap house, the drugs, all of them something there. Trap house and the drug house. That is where the trap of about and the lifestyle of drug and coke and molly and anything. That is the trap. Plus the eight or eight drums. Zine, the trap dance all now you talk about the chopping, the scamming and so forth. Because remember, music is always about the culture as well as the beat as well as where you say. Where you say is determined by the culture. Get a message as in the lyrics, just like the Moby Arch, them are singing about chopping and chopping line and bang a phone. All of that will come about. It came from a culture, and that culture, the, the beat makers, them, such as the Din Din from M Tan, you get a message, and the others, them, those were the ones who helped to pioneer that sound. A sub genre, it have to have a beat, and it have to have a culture behind the beat as well, just like genres. You get a message, I don't, yeah, never do that. I don't know was using remember in the hip hop the thing we do in the hip hop is that you rap you rap in dance hall them say a DJ the genre is hip hop what you do is rap just like in a dance hall the genre is dance hall but what you do a DJ get to me and say what I don't know was doing was delivering our DJ our rapping and dance hall beats Nobody recognize that as trap, I don't and others. And if you recognize that as trap, put it in the comment section because nobody ain't calling it no trap because it was not trap. You get to me say, and it does fascinate if so reach people they are cuss about not trap, not being important. And now all of a sudden it seems like the trap has gained some amount of importance. Why is that? Because probably artists like Skilly Bang are take it international and people say the trap is not going away. Because me ask the question already, I'm gonna ask it again. How comes we never see I do any of them I defend the trap all along? If this was something that you guys pioneered and made and bring, why is it that you guys weren't defending it all along from Bounty Killer, from Beanie Man, from everybody else? It just not add up. Why defend it now? Why in the early stages of 2019, 2018, me never get much of a defense. Me never hear no defense. But as long as it go on, it'll get successful. Probably that is why we are here a defense and we are here persons that say whatever. People, there's a clear difference between rapping and trap. Hip-hop and, tr and trap. Hip-hop is the genre. Trap is a sub-genre. Dancehall is a genre, trap dancehall is a subgenre. It came from it. I don't can be rapping and talking about Biggie and say that is trap. That cannot be trap. Trap have to do with the the eight or eight drum set. Get a message and the lifestyle as well. People now have to understand what going on. You know, a lot of people now go to do research. But if I can't do it, just hear me say that is it. You get me? Yeah, so we have to put things into perspective because I don't know is not the first man in dancehall to rap and dance hall with him. Cannot be the first. You get me? I say, cannot. You get me? I say, it, no. No, I wouldn't have gone down that road because that is not trap dancehall. For a man mentioned Biggie, Biggie in the early 90s. Biggie now, trap never even exist them time. So, how come trap dancehall? How come they never add up, dog? It never add up, dog. God no, it never add up. Big man thing, it not add up. It never add up. Trap came bef before Biggie, and Trap is not the time of Biggie. Trap come after Biggie, so all the Biggie flow. If and that is where I don't and the team shoot themselves in the foot. If they come and mention name like Gucci Mane or Ti or, or, or those persons who them see as a pioneer of that southern rap genre they call Trap, then fine. But you have to mention Biggie. Biggie you not have nothing to do with trap, come on. Anybody who know what that owns of music know that. Well, my hope. So that is it. As what I say, whether you them I do know as it relates to squash and ragging king, those are the pioneers of dancehall trap the genre. You get the man say? What I do and I was doing 
or occasionally was dabbling with rap music him they have a time when him sound like the migos crazy i'm crazy i'm crazy you niggas know that i'm crazy yeah and him put in the little ad lib them man so the migos style and whoever did at the other time he might have used some of them flows mimic them flows so the use of rap flows is not the same thing as saying you're doing trap dance all day because trap dance all is a genre and trap is a genre you get what I say? That was hip hop you are about. Hip hop in general at that time, the Migos had a specific way of delivering then. That no means say uh, so them are part of the trap, but them are not the whole of the trap. So no because you sound like the Migos means say uh, you are the trap. You don't sound like the Migos as one of the groups I mean hip hop at the time. And whoever you did that try sound like at the time because you were influenced by them. So that is a difference. Leave in the comment section. I'm out.